In this video, we will be taking a look at the three heart failure zones, what each zone entails, and what to do if you see yourself trending towards the danger zone. To help you understand today's video more clearly, we are going to be using the stoplight analogy. There are three heart failure zones, including the green, yellow, and red zones. Let's use a stoplight analogy to help us remember better. Green means you're in control and clear to go. Yellow means take caution and red indicates to stop and take action for this medical crisis. Let's review some of the common symptoms and actions to take for each zone. In the green zone, you are all clear. You should have no shortness of breath, no chest discomfort, pressure or pain, no swelling or increase in the swelling of your feet, ankles, legs or stomach, and no weight gain of more than four pounds over two days in a row or five pounds in a week. Remember, this is the goal. What are some things you can do to stay in the green zone? Take medications daily as prescribed. Empty your bladder every morning and weigh yourself and record your numbers. Eat foods that are low in salt or salt-free and limit fluids to six to eight glasses per day. In the yellow zone, you must take caution as the zone is a warning and symptoms include gaining more than four pounds over two days or five pounds in one week. You feel short of breath more than usual. There is increased swelling in your feet, ankles, legs, or stomach. You have a new dry, hacking cough. It is harder for you to breathe while laying down. You find it easier to sleep by propping your head up with pillows or sitting up in a chair. What actions should you take if you're in the yellow zone? If you have been provided with a medication action plan to use by your heart function clinic or doctor, this would be the time to use it. The medication action plan allows you to adjust your water pill dose for up to three days in a row in an attempt to reverse your symptoms and get you back into the green zone. If your symptoms continue to worsen, you may be heading towards the red zone. If your symptoms do not improve after three days, please contact your heart function clinic if you are followed by one, or your family doctor for further direction. If you do not have a medication action plan, please speak with your heart function clinic team or your family doctor to see if you would benefit from one. Now, back to our zones. Let's talk about the red zone. The zone is a danger zone. It means act fast. In the red zone, your symptoms may include you are struggling to breathe your shortness of breath, chest pain, or fast heartbeat does not go away with rest or medicine. You have difficulty with thinking, feelings of confusion, or fainting. Now you are probably wondering what to do if you are in the danger zone. You should seek immediate help. Phone 911 or go to the emergency department closest to you. Knowing what to look out for and what action to take for each zone will help keep you safe while managing your heart failure symptoms. It is recommended to keep your heart failure zones and action plan somewhere where you can see it often, such as on the fridge, inside a cupboard where you store your medications, or on the bathroom mirror. This will help with easily identifying which zone you are in each day and acts as a reminder to take actions to reverse worsening symptoms early. We encourage you to watch other videos in this series which discuss other ways you can prevent and manage your heart failure and symptoms.